although planets surround stars in the galaxy, how they form remains a subject of debate. Despite the wealth of worlds in our own solar system, scientists still aren't certain how planets are built. Currently, there are two theories. The first and most widely accepted theory, core accretion. This works well with the formation of terrestrial planets like Earth, but has problems with giant planets. The second, the disk instability method. This may account for the creation of these giant planets. Approximately 4.6 billion years ago, the solar system was a cloud of dust and gas known as a solar nebula. Gravity collapsed the material on itself as it began to spin, forming the sun in the center of the nebula. With the rise of the sun, the remaining material began to clump up. Small particles drew together bound by the force of gravity into larger particles. The solar wind swept away lighter elements, such as hydrogen and helium from the closer regions, leaving only heavy rocky materials to create similar terrestrial worlds like Earth. But farther away, the solar winds had less impact on the lighter elements, allowing them to form into gas giants. In this way, asteroids, comets, planets, and moons were created. Earth's rocky core formed first, with heavy elements colliding and binding together. Dense material sank to the center where the lighter material created the crust. The planet's magnetic field probably formed around this time. Gravity captured some of the gases that made up the planet's early atmosphere. A new study suggests that 2018 could see a spike in huge earthquakes around the globe, and it's thanks to the Earth's rotation slowing down. The research, which was presented in a paper by scientists at the University of Colorado at Boulder and the University of Montana at Missoula, focuses on historic earthquake trends and seems to draw a pretty strong link between periods of slow Earth rotation and rashes of major quakes. It sure sounds like something out of a film, but the science is based purely in reality. The study's authors plotted earthquakes activity going back over a hundred years, and thanks to the wealth of data available, they were able to determine that the temporary slowing of Earth's rotation seems to be linked to the most devastating and frequent earthquake outbreaks. The Earth's rotation is usually incredibly consistent, but it does go through brief spells where it rotates a tad slower than normal. The change would not be noticeable to anyone if not for the precise equipment scientists use to measure it, and it only affects the length of the day by milliseconds at most. These temporary dips are a well-documented phenomenon, but they never last long before the Earth starts to speed back up again. During these periods, the researchers say that major earthquakes that measure magnitude 7 or greater happen with much greater frequency. In an average year, we'd expect to see a little over a dozen of these types of earthquakes around the world, but in years where the Earth's rotation slows, that number spikes to as high as 30. In 2018, the Earth is expected to reach its slowest rotation speed, before picking up the pace once more and that could spell doom for earthquake-prone regions. Researchers said the following, This year we should see a significant increase in numbers of severe earthquakes. We could easily have 20 a year starting in 2018. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.